Tracy, nice to see you. Hello, Jamie, Jamez. Nice to see you both. Thanks for joining. Welcome to Musical Mondays. I'm Kelly Fleming, if, uh, if we haven't met before. Um, I'm going to give a few minutes for others to join before getting started. Uh, while we're waiting, I'd love to hear how you're doing in the chat while I tune up. So let me know how you're doing. Type me a message. Send me an emoticon or something so that I know. Vortex, Denise, hello, thanks for joining. Thanks for the hearts, everybody. Just tuning up a little bit, my little guitar. I think the warmer weather is <coughs> putting it out of tune a little bit. Excellent. Jamez saying, doing great. Second vaccine on Friday, that is awesome news. Tracy is tired. Okay, well, I hope this is a little musical pick-me-up for you. I was actually going to do a ballad tonight, but hearing that you're a little tired out, <laughs> maybe I should do something a little, a little perkier. So, let me know. Ballad or kind of more rockin' song? You're tuning in from New York, rainy in New York. What part of New York are you tuning in from? That's pretty cool, by the way. Okay, Tracy's saying ballads are great. Okay, perfect. Well, I'll do what I was planning. And when I say planning, I, you know, seriously wasn't really planning. I didn't actually know what I would do tonight. I guess it was kind of going with the going with the flow. So Jamez is in the Long Island area. So about an hour from Manhattan. Okay, cool. I have been on Long Island twice. Twice, I think. So awesome. Awesome to know that you're coming from that part of the world. That's great. Um, so for those of you who have been here before, you kind of know how my musical Mondays work. Um, where I play a song and, and talk a little bit about the songwriting process or the recording process. Hello, Alexandra. Welcome. Nice to see you. Um, and uh, ask and encourage questions from you all, because that's fabulous. It helps me, uh, it helps draw out some of the stories that I might forget to, to talk about. Um, and Stevie the French, hello, nice to see you. Thank you for joining us tonight. Um, so yeah, so I usually play a song, the Musical Mondays is about 20 minutes or so. I try and keep it under half an hour because the uh, Instagram machine likes the under half hour stuff. It's easy for me to, excuse me, save it and download it and re-upload it onto IGTV and all of that stuff. So yeah. So I appreciate you tuning in tonight. Uh, the song that I was going to do is called In My Dream and it's a ballad as I was saying right off the top. So if you were looking for something rocking tonight, I'm going more ballady tonight. Um, it's called In My Dream and it's a song that I co-wrote with a long t my longtime collaborator Ron Yamauchi and uh, we wrote this song together. Oh, gosh. When did we write it? Um, sorry, my connection paused there for a second. So, um, yeah, we wrote the song about four years ago, and it was off of my last album, my No Static album, which came out in 2016, I think. So this song is a ballad I was mentioning, and it started off as a, as a poem that I wrote um, after reading a piece in... A local paper here um, uh, written by Jane Rule who's a Canadian writer and she was writing a piece about her partner who had 
recently passed away and it was a, a really moving piece, um, really a, a memorial and, and talking about grief and being the one left behind. So it uh, really struck me. Um, yeah, it was so beautifully written. So I wrote a poem that was kind of inspired by this piece of writing. And then I introduced the poem to Ron one night when he came over to do some songwriting with me. And, um, and he, he took the poem away. He took the poem home with him and uh, came back the next week um, with this beautiful song started and you know at first I would think I was a little miffed at first to be honest because he changed the original song completely from what I had started out uh, with and what I had envisioned and uh, but he I mean he knocked it out of the park he made this beautiful song that uh, that was much better than the one I started with so you know um, that taught me a little humility as an artist and as a collaborator, actually, um, that, and to not be so wedded to, uh, my original idea and to be open to the, uh, where an idea can go. Uh, Tracy's saying good old Ron, yay. Hey, dragons, nice to see you. Thanks for joining. Um, so that's a little bit about the song. Uh, so I'll, I'll play it now. It's called In My Dream. If you want to listen to it on Spotify, it's off of my No Static album. Um, and uh, there isn't a video for it, although this video that I do tonight will be posted on my YouTube channel, usually a day or two after or the same night if I kind of get, get, get it together. Um, so while I'm singing and playing the song, I would... Uh, Love to hear if you have any questions about the song or about the songwriting process or, you know, even the collaborative songwriting process. Um, it'd be really cool if Ron was here too, but, you know, COVID and he's not on Instagram. So that, those, are, those are two barriers. Um, and also I'd love to see in the chat um, uh, where, you're, where you're tuning in from. We know that Jamez is tuning in from Long Island, New York, and Dragons is heading to Spotify right now. <laughs> cool, thank you. All right, so I'll play the song. Glasses or no glasses? Let's try no glasses. I might not be able to see, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. In my dream, you play the most interesting role. In my schemes, I play a part in a world made whole. I've felt my armor melt away till I was naked. thrown into the eyes. The world is not so nice. I shut my eyes. Fall in the deep together forever. See you in my
story that I prize because you're in my head. I can't wait to get to bed and shut my eyes. Fall in the deep together. Thank you very much for listening. Hello, Jenny B. That was in my dream. <laughs> oh, you guys are swell. Thank you for the hearts. Oh, and Tracy's saying you love this one. Okay. Awesome lullaby ballad. Yes, definitely a lullaby of sorts. Um, a memorial lullaby for sure. Um, thank you so much, Inner Vortex slash Denise. <laughs> you know, some of you folks have been joining me most weeks since I started this series, and I can't express enough how much I appreciate that. So thank you for tuning in. It's so great. So great to see you all. Um, Jamez is saying, love the falsetto and higher notes. It was beautiful. Yeah, thank you. You know what? I... Um, thanks for saying that. See, you guys, your comments and your questions draw out details and stories from me so this uh that's really in the higher part of my range or um and you know my voice naturally i'm a descant soprano so that's a very high soprano so i can hit the high notes way up there but i don't uh, i don't do that very often in my my uh, singer songwriter pop music uh indie folk pop music so um ron on purpose when he took this song away that we were co-writing um uh he on purpose said i wanted this song to really get into the higher part of your range and write a song that works for your voice so it's like okay he did it and it was like at first it was a bit it was a bit uncomfortable to sing on stage you know behind a mic and and uh be pushing out those really those really high notes, but uh, I think it, it really works. It definitely really works for the song, and I've really gotten comfortable with uh, using that that part of my voice um, in my in my day to day singer songwriter uh, work. And you know, I shouldn't say I never use that that part of my range because when I do when I'm in the studio and I'm doing you know, backup vocals to myself. I'm often doing the the high parts in the background. That's that's usually me. Um, oh, and I'm missing some comments here. Falsetto, but she was close to it. Okay, Descant. You actually at times sounded like Dolores O'Riordan from the Cranberries, so very nice. Thank you very much. I, I take that as a high compliment. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. Oh, and Tracy um, is saying that one of my songs, Blueberries, which is called Mars Children, does use the high part of my range. Does it? Yeah, I guess it does. You're right. So yeah, there are a couple of them that, that do use the higher part of my range. And you know, that's one that I haven't done yet on Musical Mondays, so I might do that in an upcoming week. Um, I was telling folks at the beginning that um, I started Musical Mondays kind of, uh, I think maybe about 10 weeks ago. So uh, yeah, and I've gone through my current album. I've played every song of my current album and a couple of older songs um, like the one tonight. So I am going to go into my back catalog a bit and, and keep it going. Um, 
because you know in these times of of distance this uh, connection musical connection is so important so I will be continuing musical Mondays um, but not next Monday because I am moving yet again so I will not be able to do my uh, my musical Mondays next Monday but the f one following so please tune in then uh, Jamez loved uh, the interview with oops with Dougie last week introduced me to you and I have to say I really like oh thanks so much that's amazing thanks for for letting me know that you tuned into that yeah so I I, uh, I did an Instagram live last Tuesday with Dougie style who's a music aficionado and blogger um, from the US and he's amazing he uh, was so well prepared he'd gone through my entire musical catalog and asked me about pretty much everything it was it was amazing I it was a, it was a marathon for me and actually you know in all honesty some and I told him this like a couple of his questions actually I was a bit terrified because it's like oh my goodness he's asking me about a song and I don't really I don't really remember what I was thinking when I wrote it. It was pretty funny. Um, just because we went, we went quite, quite far back into my back catalog. So that was funny, but thank you for saying that James, that, uh, that was, uh, that was definitely a lot of fun. And that's on, um, Instagram, if you want to tune into that. So I think because we've had a song mentioned there in the chat, uh, Mars children or blueberries, I think I'll do that next time so again that won't be next week it'll be a couple weeks time I'll give you a little teaser that would be more of a rocking one so it goes like this i've been on this road before she took my
music. Thank you for joining. Well, thanks for listening, you guys. I figured play a verse, might as well do the whole song. So it's a two for one tonight. And I don't know whether you caught in at the end I was doing this um, slapping on my guitar. Uh, my puppy scratched on the door in time with the with my guitar slapping, which was pretty funny. Um, and my sister saying, tell the story. Oh, and Inner Vortex, Denise, this one may be my favorite. Oh, that's cool. Thank you. Um, okay, quickly, because, you know, the Instagram machine is going to want me to shut down soon to keep things under under 30 minutes. So um, this song was a song I wrote uh, a number of years ago, and uh, it's on my... Gosh, what album is it on? See, this is terrible. I don't even remember. I think it's on my World in Reverse album. Yeah, and uh, it's a song about my family history. Um, so my family were a settler family in a white settler family in Canada, and my dad's family originally settled in Nova Scotia. So it um, it uh, it's about uh, going back. To Nova Scotia and visiting some of his sisters and how they took with my sisters and uh, they took us on a bit of a tour to some of the um, old places in Nova Scotia where my family lived and one of them was is now a blueberry field and they took us to the old foundation of the house and we walked around and we found some artifacts and relics and it was uh, pretty cool and it just filled my head with uh, all of these images and thoughts of family history and kind of the weight of history and how we we all carry history with us so that's a little bit about the song so thanks for encouraging me to do that song tracy because you know there won't be a musical mondays next week so this was uh two weeks two weeks compressed into one tonight so um Let's see if I'm missing any questions or comments. Nope, that is great. Well, yeah, you're welcome. Thanks, everybody. Thank you for the hearts. Appreciate it so much. Before I go, I'll tell you all that I have a new single coming out April 30th, so just over two weeks. It's a remix of a song off of my last album, See In Me, and it's a remix done by a Vancouver a uh, producer and guitarist named Jesse Waldman. So it's a pretty interesting remix. It's like a stripped down acoustic remix. So kind of going in the opposite direction of what where remixes usually go. But that's coming out on Friday, April 30th with a new lyric video. So I'll be premiering the video on my YouTube channel. And I'll also be launching a pre-save campaign for the single on Spotify. So if you're on Spotify, if you... If you lovely people wouldn't mind looking out for my pre-save link and pre-saving the single to your Spotify libraries, that really helps the algorithms uh, operate in my favor. So uh, watch for that. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Um, I will say good night before we hit that, that witching hour of 30 minutes. And um, thank you all again for coming great to see you all and great to have some new faces here and uh yeah wishing you all a great couple of weeks and hopefully see you in two weeks time <laughs> thank you <laughs> take care everybody and stay well yeah you have a great night too Jamin. yay jenny b thank you i didn't get to say hi to you thanks everybody it's a long goodbye here I go, I'm gonna press the little red button.